today we're going to talk about an exercise called lateral walks. Now, the reason that I love these so much to go along with rowing is because it works muscles that we do not get on the rowing machine. We are always going in a forward and backwards motion when we're on the rower. We never work stabilizer muscles to help our hips stay level when we walk, when we run, when we do other activities. And that can impact things like hiking and other things that we want to do in our daily lives. So this exercise is a great way to kind of balance out, work other muscles, and honestly, it's not super boring because we're not staying in one place. For this exercise, you do ideally need a band. However, if you are in a little bit less strength position, uh, you can go without the band and then work your way up. I do have a link in the description for the ones that I have. Uh, but these come in a set with different resistance levels. Find one that's comfortable for you, and you can do this in a hallway. And if you don't have a hallway and you just have a room, you can do smaller step by step. So you can see I'm a little limited on space right now, so I might end up refilming this in the future when I have my whole gym back. Uh, but just modify it where you do end up doing it back and forth more times than just doing one way, one way. Completely depends on the space that you have available to you. So to do this exercise, you're gonna put the band around your ankles. There are some adaptations you can do where you either put this around the middle of your foot or you put it around the top of your knees. If you get knee pain when it's around your ankles, please bring it up right above your knees to here. If you are working more ankle stabilization, you can put it around the uh, part of your foot and get a little, make it a little bit harder. Now, a big part of this movement is I want you to try not to wobble. Now, our hip does not have a lot of motion out to the side. We think it does because we can adapt and move our body to make it seem like more motion. However, it naturally does not have a lot of motion. So what I'm gonna do is stabilize myself on one leg and try not to lean too much. And I'm gonna bring this leg out to the side and then come down and then bring my other leg to match it. Now, if I try to take a really big step, you can see I leaned to get further, and now I had to come back and bring my core, my trunk back, and then my leg. So that makes that more of a kind of side core thing than for my glutes. I'm compensating with these muscles here. Uh, so I want you to kind of keep that motion small and just go side to side. Now as you're doing this, I want you to try not to drag your feet. Try to pick your feet up as you go. Uh, so think of yourself as a log. You stay together, no wobbling, and you're lifting your leg up and going. Now, if you played basketball or did something where you did a drill like this, they taught us to point our toes where in the direction we're going. That is not the case for this exercise. What I actually want you to do is keep your toes pointed forward the whole time. Now, when it comes to knees straight versus knees bent, which is one of the most common questions I get, I always recommend that you start with whatever is comfortable for you, which usually is with your knees straight, but not always. So let's go with starting your, your knees straight. Then I want you to pay attention. I want you to do some steps. Pay attention to where you're feeling it. If you're feeling it in your butt, you're good. If you're just feeling it on the side of your hip, then I want you to try putting a little bend in your knee. Then do the same thing and see if it changes a little bit where it might still be this area, but does it start to get at your butt a little bit? We're actually going for some smaller butt muscles, which means they're not necessarily like these butt muscles. They're a little bit more to the side. They're smaller. Uh, so you may not feel it as intensely, but that is the side to side lateral steps. Do them in both directions so you stay nice and even, even. Find a resistance that works for you. And again, if you get knee pain, please bring it up above your knees. Uh, but that is the lateral walk. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked this. Let me know if you've got any questions. Uh, I do have a Facebook group that you might find helpful to join and it's in the description below. And I hope you have an amazing day. Happy rowing.